Day five, a week into our round Britain tour of the finest menswear makers. I was ready for the rest and relaxation that only a mother can offer. From Edinburgh, a shortish hop back into England, and Joshua Ellis in Pudsey, West Yorkshire. Joshua Ellis are justly proud that some of the greatest names in menswear and womenswear have their name behind them. Joshua Ellis was founded in 1767. It was an amalgamation of clothiers at the time, yeah. and then they diversified into textile manufacturing, making fabrics from natural fibres. Yeah. It was slipper cloths, very big, heavy overcoatings, yeah. big blankets, travel rugs, etc. Burberry, Calvin Klein, Chanel. Hello, Ralph Lauren, purple label. Well, I think you know, the general public probably wouldn't realise that a company in Backley is manufacturing for Chanel, Ralph Lauren, Bottega, Veneta, completely yeah. the top, top end of the market. I know, it's lovely. The workforce are local and loyal, and you can't buy that. People here that worked here for nothing for 40 years, um, grandmothers before them, cousins, etc. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we don't have a very high turnover of stuff. So the skills are there, and you can't teach them. It's, it's a lifetime of experience. Yorkshire and Lancashire were once infamously home to dark, satanic mills, a world away from these light and airy sheds. Eleanor, former co-pilot and child bride, has stayed in London, giving us more room for the gentleman's comestible. Ooh, nice house up there. Yeah, what's happening on the snack front? First and foremost, Nan's Oat biscuits. We've got roughage on our side today. Cavendish and Harvey butterscotch drops. We have the Monty Bojangles Fine Confectioners of London Sweet and Sharp Natural Lemon Sherbets. Dorset syrup is 55% fruit, nuts, and seeds in each chunky slice. Mm -hmm. Our old friend, the Sour Plum. Sour Plum, that is a colour that occurs naturally in nature. At all times. Very good. Mm. Oh, cranberry and almond chunky slice. Very nice. 45% fruit and nut. In you each. can taste the 45%. It's evident in every moist and tangy mouthful. This beautiful. is the mill. Oh, that's stunning. Look at that. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> We're 50 minutes late. John Smedley of Derbyshire are a byword for old school, top quality knitwear, not just in Britain, but beyond. Smedley men are enthusiasts. With my industrial earplugs in, I could hardly hear a word, but the hand signal spoke volumes. our own natural spring water uh, and we get a, a superb angle that is beautiful both as an outer garment or next to the skin and yes people are very passionate about the quality that goes into a John Smedley garment. So why is it so expensive? As we've walked around the plant I'm sure you've noticed how many different operations go into making one of our garments. Uh, we start off by obviously knitting the, the basic panels, a back front and two sleeves. A lot of work content involved in doing that. It then goes back to the scouring and dyeing and finishing. I mentioned that spring water that gives it its beautiful angle. But then when we get to the final makeup and we start putting the collars and, and trimmings onto our garment, a lot of hand and care goes into these operations. And it's this work content and hand skill that, that creates the inevitable uh, price that we've got. Yeah. We are still in business today because we've been 
able to supply customers for what they want in small batch runs. If we'd have been high volume manufacturers uh, selling from start, we wouldn't have survived. We, as a company, employ a total of 450 people. One of the things we've been very, very lucky with in, in terms of John Smedley is, is long and loyal service, and I'm talking both at shop floor and, and at management level. We had a, a manager retire who'd been with us within two weeks of 50 years. I personally have been here 43 years. The manager of the department, we've just left been here 43 years. So yes, we've, we've got a very, very loyal workforce. It's a lovely factory, it's very family orientated. My son works here, he works down in the knitting. Um, I've been here for 13 and a half years. My job is um, putting the John Smedley tabs in the back of the garment. People say, yeah, they're expensive, but like you say, you pay for what you get and it is really good. It does make you proud because it's like it's made in England and to be fair, there isn't a great amount of <laughs> made in England going around there, so it does make you proud to be able to sew those tabs into the back of the net. Nineteen fifteen already. Time to be on our way. Goodbye, sewer plumes. Hello, biscuit tree. Mm -hmm. Tasty and clean. Perfect in car snack. Take the fourth exit and then they're left ahead. Oh, hang on, we're green. Not in my wildest dreams did I think I would be tootling around the Derbyshire countryside, nibbling oatcakes and commenting on their efficacy as car snacks. But I've got to say, I'm very pleased to have arrived at this lofty point in my career. 40 minutes late already. Nottinghamshire. Soft underbelly of the East Midlands. Ta da! That is how a factory should look. At Smedley, your David Beckham poster was the predominant art. Here it's Daniel Craig, and with good reason. Sunspell make his 007 undies. We're 150 years old this year. Yeah. And the basis of the basis of the business is underwear, but it's always been about fabric. That is what was used in the, you know, the Levi's advert. That is a um, Feldlock seam, uh, which is double stitched. It is a plain white boxer short, but it's beautifully made. It, it is such an appealing object. Yeah. Well, everything we do is about, you know, beautiful basics. Really, it's, yeah. it's about continuing kind of innovation around fabrics. So yeah. That's really important. Yeah. Oh yeah, the other thing I want to show you is the Casino Royale fabric. This is something that we found in the archive in a cupboard. It was basically it was developed in the 50s for the Italian Riviera. The Bond franchise were basically going back to basics and the, the costume designer had been using Sunspell. One thing led to another. We got in touch and we made Daniel Craig's t-shirts, polo shirts from our fabrics. It's been selling ever since. Brilliant. It feels cool. Mm. And it is. Yeah. My name's Margaret and I've been here for nearly 12 years. We've got girls here that have been here since they've left school, so they've been here 30, 40 years, some of them. Um, so it's quite a nice place to work for, busy all the time. <laughs> it's a very fine 100% cotton, so it makes quite an expensive garment and it seems to wash and last for years. Is a Jaffa cake a cake or a biscuit? I think it's a biscuit. I'll tell you, a cake becomes drier and harder with age, whereas a biscuit becomes softer with age. Jaffa cake is a biscuit. I'm not keen on them. The West Midlands, Britain's leather-making heartland. Home to the makers of Torts's small leather goods, Ettinger. Some might say it's a dying art, but here it's a live, alive-o. Our torts, wallets and coin purses are made here with a devotion that borders on obsession. We get the leather out that we've got to use, mm -hmm. get the relevant tools out for the relevant products, yeah. uh, and then put them individually on here and individually cut them out. Yeah. This is Ettinger's colour. Now what 
piece is that? This goes on the inside of a billfold, yeah. and it holds a coins in that section. This is actually Bangladeshi raw material, but it's, tan it's finished off in Northampton. So it's still hand finished and hand dyed in Northampton. Yeah. When I first came into the trade years ago, there was 60, 70, 80 leather makers in the town. And um, how many are left? You do well to count seven or eight. Yeah. Yeah. All of these edges yeah. there, there, on the inside there, we, we turn them all wider. Yeah. As you can see there, yeah. and then we hand cut with a knife. Hand, but it says handmade. It's handmade. It's handmade. <laughs> Comfortingly expensive. They are best used for larger denomination notes and gold, or perhaps black credit cards. I mean, I, I came here in September 1981 to help out with the run-up till Christmas. And I guess I kind of liked it, and 29 years later, I'm still here. Oh, no, 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 where are you going? That following one. the bloody sat-nav. No, 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 keep going. No, 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 Calm down. <laughs> What's the secret of their success, given they're a tiny little company? They've lost, lo lost loads of neighbours, and it, they've clung on. I suspect it's the same as everybody else. They've always done one thing. They've stuck to it. And... They haven't wasted thousands of pounds on marketing. They just have spent all their money trying to keep their product as good as possible. I think at this moment in time, people want to come to something that's authentic or buy from someone that's authentic. And they are about as authentic as you get. Heading west and south, racing into the setting sun, still reveling at the glow that comes from feeling part of a world of honest toil. Having started out scared at what we might find, we went into Wales cheered by these great, small, beautiful enterprises. Yeah.